Hello friends, welcome. Uh, well, um, I've, uh, you know, talked about my free Reiki healing course, uh, you know, and different things you can do with that. And you can learn to be able to heal uh, without a qualification, without doing the Reiki attunements. Uh, it's a natural ability and, you know, it can be developed. But uh, today I want to talk about the three levels of Reiki, which is Reiki 1, primarily about self-healing and learning to experience the energies for yourself and go through your healing process to get yourself fit and ready to go on to Reiki 2, potentially, if you want to. Uh, with Reiki 1, you, can, you can't charge for uh, healing others. You can... Um, you know, heal your family and friends for free and pets and if you want to heal a plant you can heal that, it has life force in it. So anything with life force you can put healing in. Uh, you can also heal water, uh, it doesn't actually heal the water but there is microscopic life in it but um, you know, uh, mostly it's about locking energy into the water so that when you have that drink of water it just flushes you through your digestive system. Uh, with healing energy, so it's quite a good thing to do. And I, I always heal my water before clients come here, so that they do, you know, flush through, and it flushes out the toxins and different things. So it's always good to do. Yeah. Now there's those experiment with adding flavors to water, like lemon and different things. They try to impart that taste into the water, and some people have noticed it. So yeah. Um, Anyway, um, you know, Reiki 1, um, you know, you can do this free course that I've put on here and, you know, you can heal yourself and, and benefit from that and you can develop it over time, it'll get stronger maybe. Uh, or you can heal others or you've got a natural ability to do it, you feel your hands getting hot, you feel the energies flowing through you, all these different things. But, you know, being qualified is a good thing. Uh, you know, especially if you want to heal others, you must be qualified really uh, because the two things it does is A, it tells that client that comes and you've got your certificate up in your room somewhere that, where they can see it, you know, if you're healing at home or wherever you're healing, uh, they can be reassured you've had correct training to you know, give them a Reiki healing, and um, that's important, isn't it? So, so Reiki one, as I say, that's the first level of Reiki. It was split down into three levels to make it easier to learn. Uh, originally, it was just one level, but uh, they split it down in Japan into into three levels. Uh, so, Reiki one is primarily about self healing and and healing yourself and getting yourself fit and ready. You know, if you want to move on to Reiki two or just to be, you know, in a happier situation of yourself, you can stay at Reiki one. You don't have to take Reiki two. You must take Reiki one before you can take Reiki two. Reiki two is about healing practitioners. Uh, you know, you've got to be. A, um, qualified to to be a Reiki practitioner. Now in some countries even Reiki practitioners, qualified ones, are not allowed in the United States in places, a great deal of places, are not allowed to put their hands on a client. Uh, you're not allowed to do hands-on healing, which is the most powerful way of healing. They have to heal through the aura. So, you know, two or three inches off the body all the way over them because you have to have a license to put your hands on and you have to be a, you know, a licensed masseur or whatever it is to do that. So um, you have to check up on your local laws and stuff if you're going to do it. Now, you know, when you do Reiki 2, maybe you want to be a practitioner or just go to that next level, whatever it is, and set up a practice and start healing and charging, which you can at Reiki 2, you're a qualified practitioner. So, uh, and it, and you know, Reiki 1 develops your spirit and chakras and, and connection to Reiki so much. Reiki 2 attunement will take you to the next level when you do the 21 day cleanse after each one and chakra cleanse as well. Uh, so it takes you to the next level, doesn't it? And you know, you're more powerful healing for it. And you know, I had my, my Reiki, uh, attunements and you know each time I did get more powerful within two or three days of having the attunement I noticed a difference in the power and you know uh, I went on eventually to do my Reiki mastering and got more powerful with that attunement but since then at times it has increased increased so I've got more and more powerful you know and you keep developing it so yeah you know Reiki 2 is very important because not only can you 
uh, show your clients that you're qualified and been given appropriate training to heal them, that also you can get insurance. Now, if you're not qualified, can't get liability insurance or malpractice insurance. My insurance, it covers uh, personal liability, uh, personal indemnity and malpractice you know i've never had any problems with any of my clients not at all but you know you've got to have insurance to do it for your own protection you know and um so reiki 2 is all about you know learning to heal others uh reiki masters i don't think everybody needs to be a reiki master level you know reiki 2 level 2 is good enough for many and you know that's all you need isn't it if you want to do healing but if you want you've got some dedication and you want to go on and be a reiki master then you can do and you know that might be a reiki master or a reiki master and teacher uh, because you have the ability uh, to teach in some qualifications now some reiki systems have the three levels and reiki master teacher level uh, but my way I do it is as part A and part B of Reiki Master. Part A is Reiki Master healer, part B is Reiki Master and teacher. So um, you you know you're going to find that some students are not right and you've got to be fussy as a Reiki Master, you're passing off on a gift to instruct others that want to do Reiki Master teacher how to heal others. So Reiki Master Healer is great. You know, you've still got the Reiki Master, you've still got a higher ability to channel healing, so you're a Reiki Master Healer, and that's great, you know, and that's suitable for many. But Reiki Master Teacher, you've got to have the devotion, dedication to put the effort in, the time in, to do a good job of teaching your students and not, you know, just do it for the money, as many do, unfortunately, and they don't do a good job of it. So you've got to find a good Reiki Master Teacher to pass these gifts on, haven't you? All of them, Reiki 1, Reiki 2, Reiki Master, you've got to have a good Reiki Teacher. Now, I will be making, probably in a year to two years, a program of videos and you know most of these people that make videos about learning Reiki they're just reading their manual line by line you don't even see an image of them on the on the video it's just read the manual and that's it uh, so there's no theory it's all theory and no practical well the course I'll be making you know will be me here talking on a video and it might not be exactly the same as what's in my manual but more or less and uh, giving very practical demonstrations of how to do it. So having clients here, healing them, telling you the hand positions and all the different things. So I do the standard, more or less standard Reiki hand positions in Reiki 1 and Reiki 2, so it's self-healing. Uh, Reiki 2 learn the hand positions for healing another person. Reiki 1 heal, learn the hand positions for healing themselves and a basic amount for healing others because they buy their own manual that I suggest to them or use mine if I've got one at the time and Reiki Masters I teach advanced Reiki treatment sessions uh, so advanced hand positions and you know uh, some Reiki systems only have 16 hand positions but my advanced Reiki healing has got you know uh, uh, 50 to 60 hand positions or more so so and you're going over and you're uh, also giving secondary healing in places where they need it most. Now, uh, so it's definitely worth doing these things, you know, and, you know, there's a cost to it. And, you know, when I make my Reiki course, it's going to be fairly cheap, you know, to do, do Reiki 1, 2 and Reiki Master Part A Healer will be fairly cheap, you know, but Reiki Master, <laughs> to put the people off that just want to do it for the sake of it, will Reiki Master Teacher Part B will be more expensive. And that's just to put people off that want to, you know, just do it for a status symbol or, or, my, or do it for the money. It's people that are really devoted that do that one. So, so anyway, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, you know, you know, if, if you want to really seriously get into Reiki, then, yeah, do it. You know, and I'm not taking on many students at the moment. Um, but I already have a video course that my students follow and I suggest the manual that they purchase. So I do do it, you know, occasionally on, with the rare student I, I have, have taught, you know, uh, two this year is going to be, you know, I've had one just before Christmas and they're doing the Reiki Master Easter, uh, Reiki Master uh, Practitioner rather. 
They're doing Reiki too in Easter, and you know I've got a Reiki master, uh, somebody that wants to do Reiki master, who's coming to heal me today, and she is so so devoted to it that I'm going to do Reiki master and teach her with her, because she's a total right person. She's you know meditating every day, practicing self healing, set up a Reiki practitioners uh, practice, and you know she's going out and healing people, and you know she's right for it. She's dedicated to it. So so I want to do she be my first ever Reiki master teacher or Reiki master so yeah I'm fussy about who I take on as a Reiki master they've got to show the devotion um, and I think that's right and proper you know it's very very hard to be a Reiki master with Dr. Asui who you know rediscovered Reiki and those after him Dr. Hayashi, Madam Takati had to be exemplary to become a Reiki master and be devoted to it and you know spent many years doing it so I sort of set a, a premise be Reiki practitioner Reiki 2 heal at least 50 people and you know uh, I mean heal at least 50 healings and on at least five different people before you go on to do your Reiki master you know give it six months at least so yeah so that you you know you've got the dedication to it and you know you want to set up a practice and and take it further so yeah it's good you know and you you do it in your own time these things but uh you know some people just want to rush all three uh levels just to get a certificate and say oh i'm a reiki master and it's status symbol you know an ego making you do that and you've got to find humility and devotion to be a good reiki healer haven't you so anyway yeah, you know, you, you make up your mind. Now, Now, as I say, I, I do the rare student now and again, but Sarah Louise Tearsley on YouTube, you can look, search her name. Uh, you know, Sarah, many of you probably know her already. Yeah, she'll take you on and, you know, she'll do the different levels with you. And um, she does it on webcam or WhatsApp or whatever she does it on, uh, if you're abroad or whatever. And she takes a student on in person and, you know, teaches them at her home, which I learned with Sarah. And, you know, she's a great, great teacher. She really is. And I did my Reiki 1. Reiki 2, Reiki Master and Reiki Master Teacher with her and uh, it was great, you know, it was very enjoyable and she is a great teacher, yeah. So, uh, you know, just think about those things but, you know, if you want to set up a practice you've got to get to Reiki 2 at least really and that's my advice, you're qualified and you get insurance. Anyway, I hope that was alright and I hope you're doing well. Love and light to you, Neil.